Hi, I'm Lindsay with RCR Wireless News. I'm here with Ehab with Atoll Networks. Thank you for joining me. Thank you. Great. So tell me what you're showcasing today at CCA. Yeah, at CCA today we're presenting our uh, software tool called Atoll. It's an RF planning and optimization tool. It actually allows operators and even vendors uh, to actually uh, take a network, wireless network, to optimize it basically and analyze, uh, either, sorry, design a network, analyze it and optimize it as well. So we provide basically uh, different features that allows the operators to actually meet um, uh, a good quality of service on their network uh, via modeling of their network in our tool, Atoll. Great. And tell me a little bit what makes you special, what sets you apart from the rest? Uh, well, with a lot of competition out there, what makes us distinguished as of now is uh, the release that we've been having of the native 64-bit Atoll. 64-bit uh, removes basically limitations on memory, uh, unlike other applications uh, that are 32-bit, where you might be limited to a project size to work with. With 64-bit, you have actually more flexibility uh, in memory management uh, and faster processing. So it allows basically uh, uh, saving time, uh, basically when when running calculations, and also modeling large networks, uh, basically uh, or or large, like what they're current now with small cells. For example, you might have thousands of cells that you want to model, and with this 64-bit uh, native application, we can do that basically with large number of cells that you can model. So uh, that's what makes us. That's one thing that makes us actually distinguished than other competitors. And of course, the core engine of the tool itself, uh, it's a faster core that we have and also uh, the flexibility and easy of, ease of use. It's a very user-friendly tool. Uh, it allows basically, uh, I mean, it doesn't need or require a lot of training for, or, or for, for a user to start using the tool itself. It can be learned fairly quickly. And it can allow them to actually start using it basically fairly quickly, I would say. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And what trends are you seeing either at the show or just in general, and how are you guys keeping in step? Well, uh, the trends as we see now is that there are actually more uh, interest in small cells, uh, small cells and Wi-Fi offloading. So a lot of operators are looking into ways to increase capacity uh, since the macro uh, network have actually matured and, and now uh, th there is increased focus in dense urban areas uh, and indoor, uh, where actually operators trying to increase capacity because that's where you have a lot of users. And small cells is seen basically a big, uh, it's an, attract, an attractive, I would say, uh, um, uh, solution uh, to these operators. So that's what we see as a trend right now. And it's something that we can definitely model with our tool fairly easy as well.